I discovered hybrid picking in the late 90s when I got bit by the country guitar bug, and I remember seeing Brent Mason on American Music Shop, and my mind was completely blown. <laughs> I did a deep dive for many years into all things country. I really wanted to decipher what players like Brent, Albert Lee, Ricky Skaggs, Jerry Donahue, Johnny Highland, and a whole lot others were doing to really execute all those killer country licks. And the answer kept always coming back to one thing, hybrid picking. Hybrid picking is the style of picking that utilizes not only your pick, but your fingers on your picking hand. I really think hybrid picking is the perfect compromise between finger style playing and flat picking. If you've never tried hybrid picking, that's okay, because in this video, I'm gonna show you a few ways to incorporate hybrid picking into your playing. So I'll show you a few simple ways that you can start practicing hybrid picking using scales and chords. It's really gonna be a good way to kind of get your feet wet with hybrid picking. I'll also give you the first 12 measures of that solo I played in the beginning of the video as well as the track they'll be in the links below that complete solo and a few others as well as a bunch of exercises are included in my new course hybrid picking fundamentals click the link below it's on sale right now for 60% off <laughs> Let's talk about this guitar real quickly. This is a PRS NF53, and I can already hear the comments coming about, that's not a real telly, Paul needs to stay in his lane. I kind of abandoned tellies and country playing a number of years ago because frankly, I just wanted a different sound in a different direction. Whenever I pick up a telly style guitar, it makes me play in a certain way. And frankly, I'm not a traditional country player. I can do it a little bit, but I'm never going to be as good as those who grew up playing it and have dedicated their life to it. So I kind of gave up tellies and country playing altogether. So I'm at Sweetwater's Gear Fest in the summer of 2023. I run into Paul and the PRS crew. I don't know Paul that well yet. And he says, you got to try this NF53 that we made. And I was like, okay, I'm not much of a telly guy anymore, but let me check it out. And he heard me play it and he's like, you need one of these guitars. And I was like, well, well, we'll see. And six months later, a McCarty Tobacco Burst NF53 shows up right in time to do this hybrid picking lesson. I swear it showed up literally two days before I started shooting this. I took it out of the bag, tuned it up, haven't touched it since, and it sounded really good. So if you've checked these guitars out, the first thing you probably notice are Paul's narrow field pickups in this guitar. This is something that Paul has done for a, a number of different guitars to get more of a single coil sound with low hum or no hum. Uh, it's actually quite minimal on these instruments. They did a real traditional sounding telly pickup here, and then the neck pickup is stratier. I'll play it for you in a second. The other things that they did, obviously the body shape has that telly reminiscent body. They did three brass saddles, thankfully. It's not string through body. That's probably my only purest gripe is I wish the strings went through the body. That's just me, but it does sound really, really good. Now, my favorite aspect of this guitar is the neck. One thing Paul didn't do is what a lot of other companies do where they make sort of a basic neck shape. This neck feels much more like a vintage telly to me, and I love that. I want the 50s big neck when I play a telly. <laughs> I like to get people started with hybrid picking is to just play something with single notes that you already know, maybe like an A minor pentatonic scale. So if we picked it, we know what that sounds like probably, but we can also take the pick and then alternate with the middle finger on our right hand. Now I'll get in more detail here in a minute, but just watch this. Down with the pick, up with the finger. Pick, finger, pick, finger, pick. When I come down, I can go finger pick, finger pick, finger pick, or I can go pick finger. And after a while, you start to get some things that sound like that.
And if you watch my right hand, you see how I'm alternating pick finger, pick finger. And that's just with my middle finger. Now, you'll see that I do use acrylic nails, and for now, I'm using an 88 millimeter Jim Dunlop pick. You can use any pick that you like, it works. Brent Mason even uses a thumb pick and will hold it like a pick often to do that and then have the ability to thumb pick naturally like he'd want to. So he has a little bit of an arsenal there in his right hand. The actual acrylic nail sounds pretty close to a pick, so when you get it cooking, you almost can't tell which one is which. <laughs> Ultimately, what we're looking for is that connection between our pick and our finger. So running a scale of any variety, a major scale, minor pentatonic, is a great way to start to get your fingers and your pick talking to each other along with the strings. And it's gonna pay off, but it's gonna take time. But we wanna incorporate our ring finger or the annular finger, as the purists in the finger style world would say. Let's call it the ring finger. Uh, let's take some simple triads, like a G triad. And let's play a harmonized scale using triad. So we'll have something like a G right here. And notice my pick is on the fourth string. And then my middle finger on my right hand is on the third. And then my ring finger is on the second string. So just that group of three strings is all we're gonna do. Move up a whole step, play an A minor triad. Up a whole step again, B minor triad, C. Try it up a half step, then up a whole step for D, E minor, and then to complete the scale, we need an F sharp diminished, and then a G. So we can do some really cool stuff with that. We can, of course, play them all in unison, and that's the bonus of hybrid picking is, as a guitar player, if we just go, that pick is milliseconds behind everything. It's never playing in unison is what I'm trying to say. Like a hybrid picking, you can definitely pull off unison. Almost more like a piano player can push down all those notes. That's what's really cool. Now what about making a, you know, sort of arpeggiated sound where we're picking pick finger finger? We can do that. You can do that anywhere you find a particular triad that you like. Anywhere where you can get a grouping of three strings, you can do that pick middle ring. Hybrid picking has really changed my playing and after all these years, it's actually helped contribute a little to my own personal guitar style. I use it all the time and it's really, really become invaluable to me. So if you like this stuff and you enjoyed the video and the things that we talked about, I ask that you please consider subscribing to the channel and liking the video to help it get to more people that want to try hybrid picking. So I got to thank Sweetwater for not just inviting me to GearFest, but also sponsoring this video where we can show off the NF53. We can talk about hybrid picking and a whole bunch of other stuff. So click all those links below to check out this guitar and a bunch of other great gear at Sweetwater.com. So don't forget to grab all the free stuff in the links below and definitely check out my course, Hybrid Picking Fundamentals. We got it on sale for 60% off this weekend. Go check it out. Go practice. I'll see you next time.